particle moves in the xy plane after t seconds the coordinates are described by two equations and those two equations are x equals 8 sine t and y equals 6 cos t which of the following equations describes the particle now this was a um, a tougher one for me i didn't i didn't get it on my first go uh, i recommend trying it before i start but um yeah i found it kind of challenging so you're given these two equations and you see by your by your answers because you're given you know multiple choice answers you see that it wants a uh, equation in um, it's kind of like an ellipse form, but it's also, uh, there's no time dependence on the, in the equation. You're getting rid of the t value, right? So you need to find a way to do that. And you also see that um, your, your two equations you're given are x equals, let me write them down here. 8 sine t and y equals 6 cos t. Oh, wait, was it 6 cos t? Yeah, 6 cos t. So you can kind of tell that, like, there's probably some sort of squaring involved. You see this 8 here, there's 64 there, 6 here, 36 there. So it's a little fishy. It's like, hmm, you're clearly going to be squaring these coefficients, right? And you also have these uh, trig functions that get eliminated somehow. So you need to think of how to do that. And what you'd have to eventually come to is that you're going to need to use this equation here. And that's um, one of the pretty fundamental trig identities of sine squared t plus cos squared t is equal to 1. If we can find out how to move this to there, then we might be able to get something going. So let's do that. Let's get sine squared t by itself. So we can square everything. And sine squared t is equal to x squared over 64. And then square this. y squared equals 36 cos squared t. So cos squared t will be equal so y squared over 36. So there we go. Now we have a um, sine squared value and a cos squared value. Now we plug those in. We would get x squared over 64. And again, we're plugging into this equation. Plus y squared over 36 is equal to 1. Okay, so we have some form of equation. We got rid of our t's. But now we need... Um, well, it looks like this 1 turns into a 2,304. So let's just multiply it by 2,304 and see what happens. Turns out that 2,304 is the, the, um, a denominator of 64 and 36. So, so this will turn into, I'll just write it like this. Six equals two three oh four. Just multiplied every single term by two three oh four. So this will be thirty six x squared plus sixty four y squared. Equals two three oh four. Let's see if that's one of our things. Yep, that would be answer A. We should make sure it's correct. Yep. So our answer would be A. Yeah, the hard part of this problem is just realize that you need to use this trig identity. And again, I would I would just try to, I don't know, maybe come to the understanding that you're going to have to square these just by looking at the answers. That's the only way I see how to do it. So if you guys have any other more clever ways to solve it, let me know. Maybe I'll go over it again. Who knows?